Welcome, this is Mr. Fisher Flips, third grade math. This is the agenda for the third lesson that we're doing, and this is math lesson 1.5. Um, welcome, and we're going to be learning the two times tables today, so get ready to do even numbers. And to start out, make sure you have your where and when. Are you watching the video? Your summary should be the twos times tables or something to that effect and you need to come back with a question a story problem that you can share with the rest of the cl class or with your group and at the very end I'm gonna give you a few more problems to whet your appetite here's my title page and if you notice we're gonna be identifying patterns in twos when we do our count bys and in multiplication and we're gonna relate that multiplication with division. Let's get started with a quick model of what I want you to know how to do. We're going to model, explore, apply, and problem solve. Them. First let me demonstrate. This is the math board that we will be using in class. I'd like to demonstrate how we use the math board. And if you notice we, we're going to write down our, our patterns that we can find with the, in the twos times tables. If you notice as we go around the whole board, we can actually circle two at a time and find the skip counting pattern. We can go around and circle the two, the four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, etc. But do you notice something with those numbers? Are they odd or even? They're all even. Well, here in the middle, you'll notice that we have written down our pattern and so our pattern is writing down the equations 1 times 2 equals 2. Well if we look at this pattern we can also count by twos and 2 plus 2 equals 4. 2 times 2 is the same as 2 plus 2 but we go to the next pattern 2 plus 2 plus 2 and that equals 6, it's the same as 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is 3 twos. And so this, this helps us understand that adding is a form of multiplication. We can use m multiplication to do quick adding. And notice here's our pattern. It's all even numbers, 2, 4, 6. And these are the, do you remember what these are called? The sums when you have two parts together and when it's in a multiplication problem it's a product well let's do some skip counting if you notice I've already set this up and we're gonna start at zero and we're gonna count by twos and we're gonna count to twenty and I'm just gonna push this button and I want you to count out loud with me it's gonna show us jumps on a number line let's see if this works okay count out loud two four six eight ten twelve sixteen oh fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty we moved it two by twos ten times so that's called skip counting and we did it with just with the twos right now well let's start applying some of what we learned about twos times tables let's look at this problem if you'd like to stop the video this would be a good time to stop and see if you can do it or do it with me. To understand this problem we need to use a pictograph and to use a pictograph we need to count these milkshakes or these smoothies and each smoothie if we look at the key the key shows us something very important it says each of those stands or represents two drinks so every time we count we have to count by two we need to find out how many peach banana blast drinks were sold so we look on our chart and there's strawberry sensation peach banana blast mango madness and citrus surprise let's count the peach banana blast two four six eight ten twelve fourteen uh oh this one's cut in half what do you think we're gonna count that one as are we going to count it with an extra one or an extra two? Let's try it. Some of you said count by two. So let's write down our answer. We say that there are 16. Okay, some of you might think it's 16. But if you see that that is split in half, what's half of two? 
Even though you think it might be 16, it really should be 15 shakes or 15 drinks that were sold. That's our answer. Well, stop the video and see if you can do this independently. Use the picture graph to solve the problem. In all, how many strawberry sensation and citrus surprise drinks were sold? Go ahead and count those up. And remember, you're counting by what? Twos. Well, did you figure it out? If your answer was 16, you're correct. Because if you add the citrus surprise, which had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 drinks, and 5 times 2 is 10, plus the strawberry sensation, which had 1, 2, 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 plus 10 equals 16. And that's our answer. Well, in class, we're going to try looking at this problem. It's an anytime problem, and they try to stretch our brains a little bit. So if you look at this, we have Tyler, Kyra, and Emily finished in first, second, and third places. Tyler finished one second behind Emily. How many different ways could they have finished the race? So it doesn't give us all the information. We have to come up with so many different ways that the three of them finished. We'll look at that together in class. One of the things you can be doing at home is you can start practicing your times tables. And one of the things you can do is you can take out this folder and underneath that folder you're going to find a multiplication table or on the inside cover. And the way that works is you have to figure out how to do your two times tables. You could skip count going down and you could count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Or you can go across 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. But to find out your 2's times tables, it maybe you want to find 2 times 5. And so you go down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you notice that 5 times 2 is 10. So you can be practicing that at home and do it with a partner if you need to. Okay, there was some confu confusion on the signature sheet and the practice sheet. This practice sheet helps you practice your twos, your fives, your tens, and your nines. This sheet helps you or your parents check off when you have passed off one of the times tables. And if you notice, you can have this is just kind of put on the fridge and you can check off when you've completed your fives, your twos, and if you notice it it lines up with the practice sheet. So this count bys is the count bys right here. And the multiplication with a partner is the same as the multiplication mix up. And the division goes along with the division mixed up. And we'll be talking about the check sheets um, They'll be going home probably at the end of this week. So you can start practicing your twos and your fives with those practice checkup sheets. So you should have got this practice sheet. This practice sheet helps you um, practice your twos, your fives, your tens, and your nines. Make sure you plan and study this each night so that you can practice your twos and get those passed off as soon as you can so you can move on to the threes, the fours, and the fives. Now we do that as a class so that you can practice and pass them off. And that's part of your grade. Well this is our assignment that we will be working on in class. You notice it starts out with even and odd numbers and you need to be able to recognize that even when there's more than one digit. So here's a two digit number. Is it even or odd? And this this assignment is page 28 in our in our book so we'll be looking at the vocabulary and applying that. You can use your fingers to count by twos. Hold up one thumb and that represents a two. Hold up a thumb and a finger and we're counting by twos. Two, four. Count up three fingers and we get two, four, six. What would it be if we had five fingers up and we were counting by twos? What would be our number? The number that we're looking for the sum of two times five fingers is five. Five times two equals ten. And so you count with, starting with your thumb, two, four, six, eight, ten. Here's an activity I'd like you to think about and even try at home. 
Use a mirror to model multiplying 6 by 12, or 6 by 2, because it does equal 12. You get the mirror out, and you put down 6 tiles, or 6 dots, and you put the mirror next to it, and you can see that there's 6 on this side in the mirror, and 6 on the table. You can also find some other expressions using a mirror. Maybe you can figure out some equations. To whet your appetite, I've given you a couple problems right here. And these two problems are using the story problems. See if you can figure out how many, J how many carrots Jason served in all, and how many eggs are in each row. And stop the video and see if you can do these three problems. Find out how many st stamps Cindy used, and then figure out 7 times 5, and 10 divided by 5. And here's a home activity that you can do at home. You can challenge your father to see if he'd rather have a choice of receiving $1 per week allowance, or one penny on Sunday, two pennies on Monday, four pennies on Tuesday, and so on until Saturday. Which is more? How much money would you have if you doubled the number of pennies you received each day for one month? This is actually a challenge. You do not have to do this one. I encourage you to do the previous five problems and see if you know how to do them. Going back over my agenda, we went through the lesson very well, but you'll probably still have some questions about division. As we talk in class, I'll show you some tricks of understanding how division is working backwards. That's all I have for tonight. Good night.